Hey, what's going on guys? Mike Glover, Pro Tips, Black Rifle Coffee Company. Today we're talking with Cole from GBRS. Cole is a career Navy guy, also spent a decade in DevGrew. Uh, you can Google that if you don't know what it means. Um, the reason I wanted to talk to these guys is um, they have a new sling coming out called the SBS. And I'm, I'm a sling guy and there's some history behind these slings that we use. And I want to talk to you about some of this history and the lead up to the GBRS sling known as the SBS, which is the second best sling. And there's a story there too. Correct. Before we started this, we were talking about slings and we've gone through phases in the GWAT of different types of slings. Can you remember like all the sling setups you had? Like what, what were some of the setups that you ran? I think the, the one that I remember the first was like the old MP7. The yeah, MP7, was it a single point? Was that a, like a- Or not MP7, I'm sorry. MP5 sling. Oh MP5 yeah. Sling, yeah. MP5 Didn't the MP5 sling. sling have like a piece of material across yeah. the MP5? Mm -hmm. So weird. I think I got one of those in a box yeah. somewhere. Yeah, MP5 sling was the first one then Mess around with bungee, where did it flex? Could you tighten it down? You moved a single point. Then you had this bungee ball that you would like connect. You'd sling it and connect. So if you had to swing a sledge or something, you then went sling around and smack you in the face. I remember that. I remember a, a phase where we went through like a, a QD attachment where you hooked your sling into this contraption on your kit, ran the single point. But a, a sling is just a means of carrying your carbine in and out of battle, but it also can be a tactical advantage. Um, what I've seen the most benefit, uh, I remember a medic once told me, hey, make sure you use a two point so you could tie it and tether it to your body because you'll hit the casualty in the face with your gun. And I was like, that's not a thing. And then I was treating a casualty in Solder City and my barrel was like smashing the dude in the face. And I'm like, oh my God, this dude was right. Like, that's why we carry two points, pin it to your back. Or if you're in recce or you're climbing over a wall, there's a good reason to have a two point. Yeah. And you guys evolved this sling, um, which is a two point. And talk me through this sling, because this has got some history behind it. Yeah, so our approach to the sling, um, I mean, we've gone through, what, 20, 30 different variants from different makers kind of throughout the time. Um, our approach was to keep it simple, uh, sleek, and you know, slings will always catch on you when you're you're moving your sling on the back. If you have to pick somebody up, just mess with the door, breach, climb. Um, so we wanted to keep it uh, sleek so it wouldn't catch on any gear and not over complex, so keep it simple. Um, but and then initially when it first comes, you know, we, we try to keep it adaptable to big body types, small body types. Are you wearing kit, are you not? And then basically you can customize it and cut it down from there. Um, there's different QDs uh, that people prefer or not prefer. So as it comes out of the box, you know, two tri-glides and basically a pull-down cinch, um, four-inch cinch with a couple bar tacks all the way down here. So if people want loops, you can cut, cut the bar tacks, you have a loop. But again, if you have gloves, um, you don't have to look for it. You feel it. And then the double fold over as well. So it's a good reference point, touch point, when you want to tighten it down or loosen it um, and not look for it. Yeah, I feel like that loop gets caught on everything. Mm -hmm. And this is the simplistic version we all wish we had because we were, what we were doing is taking similar S slings and modifying them to make them work for us operationally. Yep. Um, and this one's padded. It is. So it has a 16 inch long um, cross-link um, pad, uh, about inch and three quarters on the width, tapered at, at the ends. And it has tweeve uh, four-way stretch over the pad. The one-inch webbing goes on top, so the pad's on the bottom, um, so that, that one inch isn't rubbing your neck. I mean, how many times have you gotten a sling and it's like, it's just tearing into your neck? Yeah, you gotta pop your collar and yeah. everything you got just mm -hmm. to protect your neck. So comfort was definitely in mind, but keeping it um, minimalist and slim and, and comfortable. So to, once you kind of fit it to your body, whether you're wearing kit, you know, obviously fit it to that. If, if you're not wearing kit, fit it to that. But also um, the flexibility to switch to a single point um, when it's time to kind of use it on target, or if you're just carrying it, patrolling it, slinging it, you switch to the two points and tighten it down. So I've it's it's weird because 
I've never seen that before. Um, and I feel like I should have seen that before. But there's a way with this QD mount, which I've seen this mount before, mm -hmm. and I'm just realizing that that mount that I've had in a box for a decade was the reason that exists to break it down into a single point con configuration. Yep. Um, so I, when I teach sling stuff, it's over, I mean, I learned my sling stuff from Kyle Lamb when he was on active duty and I was on active duty. But it was the idea like sling it over your neck for rural ops because you want to be able to transfer right to left or strong to weak. Um, put your arm through underneath for CQB and then put your other arm through to pin it to your back to cinch it down. Uh, can you show me this whole little thing here? I, and I feel ignorant not knowing that, but maybe a lot of people don't know that with how you convert it to a single point or right, not a single point, but a CQB setup. So slings are definitely customized. Um, had a lot of flexibility on customizing and me being a lefty, the orientation of the tri-glide and, and connector, sorry, got, got your gun, but um, regardless, had the um, QD tri-glide facing up, vice facing down. So when it's time to switch to a single point, You can keep right here. Obviously, uh, when it's hanging around your neck, put it through. Keep that tension on there. Get a single point. So if you want to switch to right, you switch to right, left, left. So uh, I feel dumb. Uh, I feel even dumber because I heard a shot break off in the background and I forgot we're in the range complex. And I'm like, somebody just AD'd. We need to get that on. <laughs> um, fascinating. So you can set up for multiple configurations depending on weapon system. When you guys were using MP7s, uh, did you use an MP7? Were you an MP7 guy? I was an MP7 guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I still had a two point. I yeah. Did. Yeah. Uh, same thing with, with kind of slinging it, the versatility. Because again, you're always carrying gear, always gets caught on something. You want to keep it slim, be able to tighten it down with the shoulders. I mean, so many guys and service members have messed up shoulders, back, so loosen it, tighten it. Yeah. Pretty simple. And two, the versatility. Some people don't like the way this tightens, so you can just undo it all and replace it with personal preference. Yes, yeah, so you can let, move this uh, buckle or this nylon uh, plastic out of the way. Yep and then you can set it up with any kind of attachment yeah. system. And we've actually run it pretty hard through the gauntlet training with it. Uh, a couple, I say unique things are, you know, we switched to a double bar tack because a single bar tack wasn't cutting it. You know, strong wear points um, and the construction and, and how it's put together. You look at sewing on the side that's stopped, how we fold it back in for longevity and uh, it won't break after a month. I like that, man. I like it. It's the simplicity of things is what I like, but the attention to detail is important and significant when we do stuff. Guys, uh, GBRS is doing a whole bunch of pro tips and content, and we're we're in and out doing a whole bunch of things. Um, if you guys are interested, make sure you see the links below because we're pushing the links out. There's going to be more pro tips, more YouTube. Um, what's you guys' website? GBRSgroup.com. GBRSgroup.com. Make sure you check them out. Thanks, Cole, for sharing your information, yeah, man. Appreciate I, I appreciate it. it. And make sure you pick up the sling. Uh, I'm a believer because I like uh, the simpler things in life, uh, especially attention to detail to things like uh, bar tack or paying attention to how it's sewn. Uh, if I get a sling, I want one sling that I'm going to utilize forever on every type of weapon system. Uh, and I appreciate you guys sharing it. Thanks, oh, man. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, guys.